Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Snow Runner. I am all by myself today. Uh, Russ is a little bit tied up, so uh, we're going to crack on and do an episode without him. So today, we are going to go and do a mission which is called the Unlucky Fisherman. You can see it there, there's a CK1500, I think the model is, the Chevy truck, stuck in the water. We've got to drag it from there all the way over to there, which looks like a simple enough task, but if you look at everything that's around you, you've got cliffs there. Uh, the quarry is a nightmare if you get into it in all of this swampy area here and the river is a disgrace Also the bridge is out because we're in my world today not Russ's like we usually are So yeah, I've got to get from here all the way over there And I don't know if I can get through this bit in the marshal um, But we're gonna find out we're gonna go for it if not I'm gonna have to do a little detour get across there and drive across the top But yeah, let's go and see if this little marshal can drag CK1500. Um, I'm hoping it can. I've specifically picked this because the Bobby Dazzler is letting us down when it comes to pulling vehicles and I think that this is one of the best in the game, if not the best, so we're going to find out now. Seems a little bit weird doing a video by myself without Russ, but uh, well, he's MIA, let's just put it that way, he's MIA. I'm not going to go in, oh don't roll it this early, no, I'm not going to go into specifics or anything but uh, he's MIA. And if I roll it, the main reason I've brought a scout with us is in case I roll it on this mission because I'm screwed by myself. Um, this has the, is it autonomous winch, is that what it's called? It's got the winch that stays on, basically, even when your engine isn't running. So, pick that one and it's got some bark on it. Like, it's got a lot of speed for uh, such a small vehicle when you're going across all the train and whatnot. It gets through the mud, no bother. So yeah, we're gonna... To be honest, I don't know if it'll pull this truck, and I know I'm giving myself a big challenge, especially with fuel. I think I've got 50 litres on the top or something like that, maybe 60. And I only hold 72 in total, and I've got to drag a truck that's twice the size of it, so... We might fail. We might have to fail, and I might have to get Russ to come and bail us out on the next episode, but let's find out. Um, just get through all this muddy area here. From there. So Russ uploaded a video of uh, uh, Manny that series he started today. Why don't you check it out? I'll uh, stick a little card up around right about now um, with a link to it. Really decent game. I've managed to play it and finish the game. I definitely think everybody should check it out. It, it, it's one of them ones where you look at it and you're like, nah, I don't think I'd like that. And then you start playing. And if you're competitive like I am, you want to finish it. You want to get 1,000% on all the areas. Um, sorry, 1,000%, 100% on all the areas. Am I going to get stuck here? No, I'm not right, we're over that. Let's crack on, come on, come on. Right, should be a straight run down here into the dam. Don't have rust with us this time, so I'm not going to get smashed into the side and stuck. If anyone remembers that other episode where I had to do a big editing. Probably couldn't tell by the tone of your voice, but I wasn't happy. <laughs> I wanted to take his head off. Come on. Give us some more power than that. What went oh, went fourth. That's as fast as it's going to go. Handbrake turn it without rolling it. Let's find out. Nope. That was terrible. No do handbrake turns, okay. Right, so the truck's over there somewhere. On uh, the left of the vehicle. So yeah, we'll go down and get the mission. Track it. I'm back. I really hope this thing's gonna work with it. I was gonna bring uh, my Chevy. Don't crash Bobby, how I? I was gonna bring my Chevy with us. What the hell's going on? The camera just went crazy, dude. Right, this is not a good day. It's not a good day, everybody. Right, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Let's get stuck in here. But yeah, I was going to bring my Chevy. It's got the big mud, mud tyres on. It's a bit of a beast, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I was going to bring that and pull that out, but I thought that's too easy. We know that that'll pull itself, basically. Let's see if this, uh, this little Marshall will. 
I know a lot of you have heard us say that it's quite possibly my favourite scout in the game. Even though the Bobby Dazzler is obviously the best, because, you know, it's Bobby Dazzler. But, yeah, I want to see if this has the oomph in it that I say it does. I'm not even on the road here. Where the hell am I going? See, this is what's good about this one. It's little enough to get through the trees, but it's also fast enough to do it in a hurry. If I'm correct, I've got to cross here. I don't know if I'm going to make it cross. I'm really hoping I am. Ooh, ooh, no. I'm not... Nah, that's not going to work. That's going to push us out in the river. I'm going to have to go up here. Get myself across up here. I won't do it, but I know that this thing will float, and if it pushes us out into the main bit, then I'm just stuck. There's nothing I can do, so... We're going to go upstream somewhere like here. Current better not push me here. Nah, it's not happening. And then I'll just follow it round, that's the safest option. Or oh, just nearly roll it and go back in there, okay Bobby. Right, 142 metres, that's the marker on the, the truck itself I believe, so... I'm just not going to follow around the edge there like I was going to, I'm just going to gun it over the top of this hill. Don't you dare, there we go. Don't go to the rock, turn it to the left, thank you. Come on. Ah, oh, don't make you send it off these cliffs. And there it is, you can see it there. Um, okay. There's trees there, so... I'm just going to let it free roll down here. Yes, nailed it. Nearly hit the tree. Alright, cool. We've got this, we've got this. Who need see, don't even need Russ. Don't even need Russ. This is my YouTube channel now. I don't need him. Do this by myself. Now let's uh, show a task. Accept. Start tracking. Moment of truth, guys. Just gonna turn around. Oh god, this isn't gonna work. I can see it now. Winch dip. No, you don't. Yeah, with ease. Look at that bad boy. Go ahead, son. Right, and now, I don't want to take it up there. So let's find the best way. Right, it's only going to there. So I could... I could probably get that through the trees where we just came, but I don't want to take it up there. This way is going to be the best shot, but really all of it looks bad there where you see the cursor is. I think we're just going to have to go for it and hope for the best. I'm going to have to try and get it up here. If I can't, I'm going to have to cut around the side and try and get to this road here to get it through there, up and out. Or I go straight across the back, hit quarry, and that's the easier option once you get to quarry. But let's see. He's not going to go up there, but let's find out there. I'm going to bottle it a little bit and go to the left here where it's not as bad. That poor truck's just getting ragged around. Like an empty track suit behind us. Come on. Come on. With ease. With ease. Best scout ever. Right, I'm not going to plan a route. I'm just going to eyeball this. It shouldn't take his heart oh, turn down. Oh, idiot. Ooh. Ooh, this does not look good. Right, let's just free roll a little bit. Odd little bit of acceleration. Do not want to go in the water. Aim it around the trees, Bobby. Don't put that into a tree. Thank you very much. And we're stuck. Oh, we're not. We're not. Oh, God. I have picked the worst way to go here. 
if I get stuck as well, I'm going to have to detach to pull myself out and then pull this through, so it's going to be a nightmare. Come on. You can do it. Before someone comes to it, you put it in low minus. I'm not going to because I need all the power I can get because it's pulling a big ass truck. Oh, you're not going to get that truck up here, are you? Oh, you are. Right. Where am I? Right, I'm where I want to be. I'm going to cross here and then follow the path the way that I should. Stop damaging that engine. Right, I'm going to turn in. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Going through here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just noticed that. That bank might not be able to get that up. Let's go automatic. I know it's dangerous for water level. Need to stop the rain. Come on. Power. Yes. It's still an automatic as well. I said I was going to go back on the road, didn't I? And then I completely turned off the road because I'm an idiot. Take around this way. Right. This looks like it's going to be the best point to cross. Ah, oh, it's not. There's loads of rocks there. Okay. Let's just go through the centre then. With ease. I really didn't think that this would go as smoothly. I thought I was going to get stuck somewhere down the line. Maybe I have to go get a recovery truck or something. But you can do this mission with the marshal. It's the right way? Yes, it is. Come on. That looks. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. These big tyres just take out everything, don't they? And we've done it. Yes. And it's just starting to get dark, so I did it all in time in daytime. Eighteen fifty for that and it was really, really simple. That was not bad at all. Um, let's accept that. Give us a thank you very much. What is that pickup point for? Pipe. Oh, it's automatically put us on another one for Pipe Dream. But yeah, just a quick little episode today uh, with us being by myself. Just something small. I realised what happened to the Chevy truck. I don't think what happened on this series. I went back and looked. I did even speak to one of, one of our subscribers to see if he can remember we're doing one. It's been that many episodes now. I'm kind of losing track. But yeah, I wanted to have a look at it for you. Um, nice little simple one, get you some money, obviously you don't get to keep this one, there is a Chevy truck you can keep, but unfortunately me and Russ both got them before we started recording, um, but you can get one for yourself, and they are cheap enough to buy. Uh, I will go back now to the garage, and I'll show you mine, let's just put that in storage, that's the truck store, idiot, these are all the trucks that I've got, I'm just going to quickly scan through them you can see for yourselves scout 800 amazing little scout that thing and there's the ck 1500 let's see what it's got on it because we'll always have a look at the customized options so i currently have the aat 8v 5.2 custom this is the most powerful engine i think that it has yes it is uh, it's the most powerful one my favorite gearbox i put the snow runner in obvious reasons we started out in alaska um, you've got the other options there as well, stock and freeway. Suspension, stock or raised, it's pointless having stock on it if you can have the raised on this truck. And it looks a bit badass. Tires, you can have all of them, as you'd assume. Highway it starts off with, got three sets there. All terrain, they're pretty good when you're first starting out and you unlock it. They are 
really good uh, to have on. They give you such a boost compared to the highway, but then obviously you get to the off-roaders, which are just completely mental. It's got the mud tires. I have the 38-inch MS ones on, um, and then it goes to chain, and I own a couple of pairs of that, the 38 and the 35. That's it for them. Winches, all the standard ones, but if you've got a scout, you should always have the autonomous one on. Um, diff lock, engageable unlock. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't come with the engageable. That's that's an upgrade you have to get. Um, frame add-ons, roof rack. Ooh, I can have the full roof rack now instead of just the small. We're going to buy that right now. So we'll get more fuel and stuff. That's definitely worth it. And you can have the trunk repair supplies in as well. So it gives you some extras, which makes it good for any recovery missions you've got to do. Snorkels, you've got the tall front facing, which I am again going to put on my truck. And you've got the tall mushroom. Visuals, you've got the side pipe I've already got on. You've got an angled sun visor, which I haven't unlocked yet. I've got another two levels to get. Rear bumper, you've got chrome, which looks really nice. Police pursuit, I don't know why it's called. I'm assuming is that what they have on the police ones, if they have police ones. And then stock. I'm going to stick the chrome on because it looks nicest. Let's buy that. Rooftop. I can't have anything on because I've got the roof rack. But you've got speaking. Small. Ooh. Ooh. Parking lights can go on. You can have the round parking light. External horns can go on. Beacons and fogs if you don't have the roof rack. And just the roof fog lights. Front bumper. Uh, front bumper. you got tow loops. That looks cool. Heavy duty pipe which is what I've put on. Axle protection ones the chrome fang that kind of goes with what i've got on the back so i might put that on i kind of like having some lights on the front though because the tow loops one is my favorite but there's obviously no lights on it uh no we're gonna put the chrome on chrome fang it is rims you only have two options you've got the west one which i think are the best and then you've got the west two um color wise what you got at the bottom you got the oh that is badass i have not seen that yet so we've got the basic red and white the beige and brown green and white is that beige and black or is that classed as yellowy i don't know um and that's it for them you've got the blue one as well that's the one that we've just pulled out the water we are going to put this on and then we're going to jump outside in the dark, thank you very much, SnowRunner. Take a look at it in all its glory. It looks quite nice, that. Really, really nice. Let's have a look at the inside. Yeah. I, I like this truck. This is nice. I like how the blue matches the blue on the outside as well. The interior matches the exterior. But yeah, this has been my episode of SnowRunner. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to stick a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.